Hello everyone, welcome to Lutfa Polytechnic Institute. We have designed a mini drone for our national innovation contest by our IIC. The project has been guided by Mr. Kaji Abul Mansur, lecturer of CST and Mr. Abhinandan Sharkar, assistant professor CST. In this picture we can see the prototype we have designed for the contest. Next we will see the team list. These are the members who have played the key role in making the drone. So what is a drone? We can say a drone is a quad rotor helicopter or a multi copter, multi rotor helicopter that, uh, that, is, that is lifted and propelled by four motors. This can be also classified as rotor craft as opposed by fixed wing air aircraft because these are these uh, machines or these devices are lifted in gen is generally by a set of rotors in this uh, project we have used four rotors or four motors for the for lifting and flying of the drone in market it is also available in six with the use of six rotors eight rotors as we have designed a prototype we have made the basic one and the main thing we need to fly a drone is a skilled pilot who can hover and fly in just in about any direction the drones are used also used for mainly in defense emergency responses or disaster control healthcare services in agriculture and so on and many more Next, we are going to see the basic what we need to make a drone. First, we need a frame. This is a basic structure and it, it needs to be strong enough because it holds the other components that are required uh, for the drone to fly. And on the other hand, it should also be lightweight. We can, in the next slide, we will see some of the different frames these are the different frames available in the market and there are many more for the for this project we have used this frame as it was readily available and easy to assemble all the other components are easily assembled it can be easily assembled or next we are going to see about the motors these are the motors these are the dc motors high speed dc motors we have used for uh, the flight of the for flight of the drone uh, these are around 50,000 rpm cordless motors that works with around 3.7 to 4.2 uh, volts and batteries can be used as lithium ion batteries or lithium polymer batteries and that should have a uh, weight to power storage ratio should be good otherwise the drone will not uh, fly or it will get it can get disbalanced in any of the ways now we are going to see about the flight controller board this is the brain of the aircraft it is basically a circuit board with sensors detects the orientation changes of the drone it receives commands gives the control signals to the different uh, motors and in order to keep the uh, quadcopter of the drone in here which it maintains the orientation means the balance how it is going to fly and it also receives the signals for the movement for forward reverse backward left right all these signals are fed by this flight controller board now is the radio transmitter this is a basically this is a remote we have used it gives the radio signals for the uh, drone to fly in each of the directions this is the propellers propellers these are fixed pitch propellers typically found on all camera drones and the propeller spins and turns the wing causing the wing to blow downwards and the propeller and the drone comes upward with spinning fast enough the wind is enough for the aircraft to ascend 
next we are going to see about the battery these are the batteries we have used these are the lithium uh, polymer batteries of around 250 uh, milliampere hour to 600 milliampere hour and with a standard voltage uh, rating of 4.35 volt at full charge and this is the this yellow color is the adapter for charging that we can get next we are going to see the working principle how our drone works mainly there are different motions first we will see how this works the red rotors are the rotating counter clockwise and the green ones are the rotating clockwise with the two sets of rotors rotating in opposite direction the total angular momentum is zero if there is no torque on the system then the total angular momentum must remain constant to rotate the drone without creating but this kind of problems rotor 1 and 3 should remain constant and increase the speed of rotor 2 and rotor 4 and next we are going to see how to move it forward or sideways this should be the motion this should be the motion of how it moves forward this is a basic principle Next, we are going to see the basic prototypes we have designed. Here we can see the propellers are attached uh, in the middle. The, this yellow colored part is the battery. <coughs> Below that, we have the flight controller board and it is attached with the battery. This is the battery. This one is the battery. And these are the propellers. And as it can be difficult to see, but if you give a quite a uh, intense deep look over there, we can see the flight controller board is over here. This is the flight controller board and the battery is attached with the flight controller board with this junction or this with these ports. This port as you can see is left out we can attach a small camera for various recordings. As we have discussed about the drone here are a few of the applications which I have already said before. It can be used for shipping and delivery, safety surveillances, other engineering application. Now, uh, in other countries or outer countries, many de home deliveries are given through these drones. Like as we can see that Amazon is using a drone to deliver, Domino's is using uh, drones to deliver the products or the goods to uh, sell to the customers regularly. Let's now check whether the drone is working and we will end this uh, short video after checking the flight of the drone. Thank you.